Some breaking news in the government shutdown. The House of Representatives moments ago voting on part of a series of bills that would theoretically end the partial government shutdown. But the only one they just voted on does not include funding for the president's border wall. Uh -oh. Joining me now, Arizona Republican Congressman and House Judiciary Committee member Andy Biggs. He just voted on the bill and he joins us now. Uh, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Kennedy. Good to be with you. So what'd you guys vote on tonight? Well, we voted on uh, a bill that would fund DHS, which is, would include TSA, uh, Border Patrol, and ICE agents, among others, just to February 8th. That's the bill we just voted on. The Democrats voted that out. It's going to go to the, go to the Senate, where Mitch McConnell said he's not going to put it up. And as soon as I'm done with you, I'm going to go vote uh, no on a bill that would fund the other agencies through the rest of the fiscal year. But neither one has border wall funding in it. Okay, so you voted no on the first bill, correct? That's correct. All That's right. right. And uh, obviously, if it goes to the Senate, it's going to die there. Uh, yes, like so many dreams die. Yes, that's correct. That's so sad for yeah. so many people. All right, so that means that the shutdown is going to go on. What have you been told by your leadership about the shutdown? Well, the president's committed. He's he's locked into this this position. Um, we're locked into the position. The Democrats seem to be locked in the other side. So what we're hearing is to be prepared for a fairly lengthy shutdown. And uh, to that end, you know, some of us are trying to find a way to pay the people who work on the border, the ICE agents, the TSA folks, uh, while they're while they're uh, in the shutdown because they're the ones who aren't getting paid, of all things. So uh, that's what's going to happen, and we'll we'll see how it plays out. I think it's going to be a ways uh, out, Kennedy, before it's resolved. It sounds like it. Is it going to be the longest shutdown in government history? Well, uh, 21 days was the longest shutdown. I'd say that's uh, well within our sights, quite frankly. Uh, quite a record. Who owns the shutdown? Um, I think since uh, Chuck Schumer is the guy who uh, is refusing to budge, Nancy Pelosi, I think they own it. Here's why. There is not a bill on President Trump's desk for him to either sign or veto. He's, he's indicated what he wants to do, but he doesn't really have the opportunity to, to do more than bully pulpit it. That means that the people who actually produce the legislation, which is Congress, which is the Democrats, in this instance, because of the 60 vote rule in the Senate, they own the, they own the shutdown, in my, in my opinion. You may feel that way, but does the public feel that way? You know, I, I think so. I mean, right now, the, the numbers are high. And these things go cyclically, as you, as you might know. Um, right now, the Republicans feel very strong. They're very confident. They blame the Democrats. Democrats, in turn, blame the Republicans, which is really uh, kind of what makes the division within this country so palpable, is we see it right here in this shutdown situation. Neither side uh, is really willing to take full ownership, and, and we're pointing fingers at the other side. I do think the Democrats own it, though, and I think right now the public understands that. You didn't vote for Kevin McCarthy, and if I were in your position, I wouldn't have either. Uh, a few of you voted for Jim Jordan. Justin yeah. Amash voted for Thomas Massey, which I thought yes, was a did. very classy move, getting classy and sassy with Massey. Uh, what does that say to Republican leadership? Well, my point was real simple. You know, uh, we have a group of people. I, I like Kevin, but we, we, we're in the minority now uh, because we did certain things. And doing the same thing over and over again isn't going to change outcomes. I think we need to make changes. And so while I, I res have tremendous respect for Steve and, and Kevin, I just think we need to make a change, and I think we need to be ready to fight on every front because the Democrats are coming forward with impeachment investigations, and and they're not really going to look to be uh, uh, any more bipartisan than we were, to be quite frank, and maybe even less so. But that's why I voted for Jim Jordan. All right. Well, it's going to be a, a long night, and it's not going to be a, a short shutdown. You clearly have uh, your work cut out for you, and thanks so much yep. for taking time here tonight. Good to be with you, Kennedy. Thank you. All right, Congressman Biggs, let's see what's going to happen there. And uh, maybe Congress can actually get something done on immigration. Is that possible? I'm, I'm sure hoping. I really hope. Uh, and this, you know what, the wall is one thing, but we have a whole lot of other policies and, and areas we have to get to, whether it's That's asylum right. or, or sanctuary cities. There's a lot to get to, and it's not just border wall. All right, Andy Biggs, thanks again. Thanks, Kennedy.